Canada's Environment Minister, Catherine McKenna, well, she had a tough Earth Hour this year. I've got the access to information documents to show you how a McKenna social media garbage fire is born. Earth Hour 2019 didn't go so well for Canada's Minister of the Environment, Carbon Taxes and Much Travelled garbage Catherine McKenna you see she sent out a series of social media posts for Earth Hour that like so many tweets she sends out there blew up in her face spectacularly because as it turns out all four social media posts the minister sent about how Canadians should fight climate change and self-flagellate for their comfortable first world lifestyles and reliable energy grid by sitting in the dark for an hour in March every single year? Well, they had to be deleted in shame. But why? Why, Sheila? Why the shame? Well, because McKenna is at the helm of the most inept and embarrassing social media team in all of government, and that's saying much, isn't it? All four strategically planned Earth Hour posts sent by McKenna prominently featured the use of electricity, battery-powered flashlights. I guess, actually, it was eight posts altogether because we had to count the French versions of each post. And the mocking back then, boy, it was swift and it was gorgeous. It was so well-deserved. McKenna quickly deleted all the posts, and so they are pretty hard to find now. But I filed an access to information request to make sure that the postings are never completely forgotten and thrown down the liberal memory hole and just treated like they never happened. Here's what we asked the government for. Provide copies of all documents regarding the proposal, drafting, planning, development, issuing, and subsequent deletion of the minister's Earth Hour tweets since January 1st, 2019. Now, I got back 18 pages of planning, but it's not everything that I asked for because I didn't get back any documents relating to the discussions about how the posts came to be (laughs) deleted. Rest assured, friends, we have filed for those documents because I think interesting conversations were going on between bureaucrats after all the fun making started. And I think you at home would love to see those conversations just as much as I would love to see them. 18 pages to plan four posts and they still got it wrong. In the document package you can see the careful selection of the images and the careful planning of the wording for all the posts and then the careful scheduling of when the posts would go out. What you don't see is common sense. Now let's take a look at these posts. The first thing we see is a tweet scheduled for March 30th, 2019. The English text reads, take part in Earth Hour to help protect our planet. Switch off in solidarity tonight from 8.30 to 9.30 EDT and help inspire others to connect to Earth for a sustainable tomorrow. And then you can see the Getty Images photo they selected. The Getty Images link even says, girl sisters with flashlights reading bedtime story royalty free image. And if you see on the end there, nobody's made a comment that, hey, yeah, flashlights, they run on electricity. Okay, next one, scheduled for the very same day. It's our chance to give our planet emoji a power up as we power down for Earth Hour. Tonight, switch off from 8.30 to 9.30 EDT. We can all be champions of the environment and connect to Earth. Again, another carefully selected Getty Images. Thankfully, royalty free, which is probably one of the only cost-saving measures the Liberals are taking (laughs) these days. The link to the image reads, young woman reading book by flashlight in bed. I actually think they searched for reading by flashlight in Getty Images. And of course, on the end, the comment section is completely blank. The next post is for Facebook. The Facebook post scheduled for March 30th, 2019 reads, Earth Hour is tonight from 8.30 to 9.30 EDT. Whoever and wherever you are, join the millions around the world as we connect to Earth by switching off in solidarity. Help us inspire eco-action and protect our planet. They use the same Getty Images girl sisters with flashlights image. And again, 
no comments or red flags caught by 24 sets of eyeballs working in that office. The social media team for Environment Canada also had a plan to post on March 29th, 2019 on their Instagram. The English content for that post read, Tomorrow is your chance to flex your environmental muscle for Earth Hour by switching off from 8.30 to 9.30 your local time and inspire the power of people towards protecting the planet. That is one awkwardly worded post, but anyway. Included are a bunch of pretentious hashtags about how people can save the planet and make noise for the Earth by sitting in the dark. And of course, we have no comments and no concerns about using images of kids or young ladies reading using electricity to promote turning off electricity for an hour. You can't make this stuff up. So those are the four social media posts that were deleted. Each one of these posts, of course, has a French language version too. Just like with McKenna's tweets congratulating Syria for joining onto the Paris Accord, her entire social media team, which we now know is 24 bureaucrats strong, carefully reviewed all these tweets before they were sent. They made no comments or expressed any concerns about any of the four posts at all. I just showed you. The comments box on every single post was completely empty. Not once did it occur to any one of these 24 bureaucrats that those flashlights run on electricity. You know what? I think that's impossible. If I were a conspiracy theorist, I'd say McKenna's staff hate her guts. I'd say they're trying to embarrass her at this point, and I think they're succeeding. For the Rebel.media, I'm Sheila Gunn-Reed. Justin Trudeau's liberal government is planning to deplatform conservatives and his loudest critics on the internet. That means us, but we have a workaround any of the coming social media censorship. We have a Rebel Media mobile app. You can get it on the Google Play Store or the Apple App Store. Download it, give it a try, and help us fight big tech censorship wherever you go.